Uh, New Orleans police are investigating the murder of a woman last night in the St. Claude neighborhood. The woman's seven year old son who was missing for hours was found safe at a neighbor's home. Paul Murphy joins us from NOPD headquarters where police are now looking for leads in the case. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Karen. It is early on in this homicide investigation and detectives have yet to identify a motive or potential suspects in the case. Meanwhile, the family is pleading for answers as to who would gun down a mother of three right in front of her own home. We're told none of those children were in the house at the time of the shooting. I honestly don't know why no one would do her nothing like that from nothing that she did. You know, that that's crazy. Jade Gibson's family members are crying out for answers. They want to know who shot the 31 year old mother dead in the 3800 block of North Prior Street in the St. Claude neighborhood of New Orleans. It's just really hard. Like I done, I done lost peace of myself. According to police, officers responded to reports of shots fired around 1130 last night. They found Gibson lying on the ground with multiple gunshot wounds. Neighbors tell us it appears someone kicked in her back door, chased her through the house and shot her on the sidewalk in front of her home. It was told to me that she was shot multiple times, but why would you kill, you know, somebody so cold hearted and cold blooded like that? Authorities originally issued an Amber Alert for Gibson's seven year old son, Kevin, after he turned up missing after the shooting. Police later located the boy at J.D. Liget's house around the corner. Liget says the boy is his son's friend and slept over after Kevin couldn't locate his mother prior to the shooting. He was over at the house all day and he kept trying to reach his mom on my cell phone and she wasn't answering. And so I wasn't going to send him home. He, he tried to go home and his door was locked. Liget says Kevin and his kids heard the gunshots but didn't know police were looking for Kevin. He now believes the boy's friendship with his son may have saved his life. If the shootings happened in that house, Kevin would have been awake at that time and just like he was awake at my house. And, you know, I fear he would have ran to protect his mom and ended up a victim. And Gibson had two other children, a 12 year old who lives out of state and a 10 month old who was also not home last night. We're at NOPD headquarters, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.